Hi everyone, welcome to Yogetic. My name is Esther and here's a short sequence you can incorporate it incorporate into your longer yoga sessions or even do this only this every day for a while to prepare yourself for a summer body so you feel comfortable being on the beach. Okay, let's start with some ab work. So we start lying on the back with the soles of the feet together and the knees out to the side. Bring your hands, clasp them behind your head and begin lift your feet a slight bit off the floor. So they're just hovering. Okay, make sure that your lower belly is grounding towards the spine and the spine is moving towards the floor. Inhaling here, exhaling, lift up, inhaling back down, exhaling, lift, inhaling back down and do that about five times. Last one. And gently coming down all the way, releasing the legs and the arms for a moment. Then bring the knees together, roll up onto your side, help yourself up and come to a standing position. Good. And hugging the muscles to the bones, making yourself nice and tall. Inhale, bring the arms up sidewards and grab your right wrist with your left hand. Exhaling on an in-breath. Pull the right side over to your left. Keep your legs strong. Keep hugging the muscles to the bones. This already helps to strengthen the legs and to begin. Build muscle. Inhaling. Open up. Exhaling. Back to center. And the other side. Inhaling. Legs strong. Exhaling. Pulling the body over to the right. And again, keep those legs strong. Inhaling. Look up. Open that left side. And again, coming back to neutral. Bring your hands behind the back. Clasp the hands. Inhaling, lifting the arms up. Exhaling, drawing the belly in a bit, tailbone down. Inhaling, lifting the heart, lifting the shoulders on the back. And on the out breath, briefly coming into a forward bend. Let your head hang. Inhaling, this is to improve your posture, to keep your chest nice and open, to learn to walk up straight. And then on the next in breath, coming back up and releasing the arms. Okay, step to the top of your mat, hug the muscles to the bones again, and on an in-breath, bring the arms up, and on an out-breath, swan dive down to the floor, inhaling, reaching your heart forward, exhaling, stepping into a downward-facing dog pose, pressing the fingers down, hugging the muscles to the bones of the arms and legs, and taking the whole body back into a full stretch. Inhaling, coming into plank. Now hold plank for a couple of breaths. Shoulders on the back, front of the body, taking it into the back of the body. Heels pressing back and draw the legs in so the inner thighs become active. Ujjayi breath. Briefly lift up your right leg. Putting it down, briefly lift up your left leg. Putting it down, inhaling here, exhaling gently back into a full stretch and downward facing dog pose. Breathing in, look forward. Exhaling, bending your knees and gently hop forward. Bend your knees, yeah? Place your hands flat on the floor and then bring the knees up into your upper arms, perhaps even your armpits on the toes. So this could be as far as you go. And all you want to do is just rocking forward, bringing the weight onto the hands and drawing the belly into the back and the sort of the back up to the ceiling. And this is already work. Perhaps you can take it further and come into a crow pose couple of breaths. And coming back out, stretching into a forward bend. Releasing your head, your neck, your shoulders. Inhaling, reaching your heart forward again. 
And exhaling, let's repeat this one. Hands down, bending your knees, and again placing them in your upper arm. So this is really good for core and arm strength. Rocking forward. Keep your gaze looking forward. Begin to straighten your arms. And gently back and taking a moment in a squat. Resting the hips down, extending your arms forward. Opening your hips. And then the last time, we repeat it three times to build up to those nice and strong arms and abs that you want. And again, you can just be here and pull up, and that's a lot of work already. And perhaps you can only take one foot up, that's fine too. Wherever you are, keep looking, gazing ahead of you. If you're here, see if you can jump back into Chaturanga. And then from here, take an up dog for a moment. And on an out breath, push back into downward facing dog pose. So that was fun. That has got me out of breath. Take a few breaths here. And on the out breath, knees to the floor. And just because we've done a lot with the wrists, we're going to take a dolphin pose now. Grab your forearms, your elbows, hands on top, interlaced. And push up into dolphin pose. Pushing into your forearms, taking your whole body back. Dolphin push-ups, inhaling. Also engage your belly, exhaling, bringing the weight forward. Inhaling, pushing back. Exhaling, bringing the weight forward. Inhaling, pushing back. Exhaling, bringing the weight forward. Inhaling, pushing back. Exhaling, knees to the floor. And we come into a side plank for a moment with the forearms on the floor. So bring your right forearm on the floor across the body and then tip over to the right side. Elbow underneath the shoulder and lift your left arm up to the ceiling. Inner thighs move in towards each other. Belly in, core strong. Inhaling, exhaling, gently turning back. Place the left hand arm down and turn over to your left. Pressing down to the left forearm. Keep that left shoulder on the back. Feel the breath here. And down again to the right side. To the left. And last one to the right. Exhaling down and to the left. Exhaling, come down onto your knees and stretch out into a downward facing dog pose. Inhaling here, looking at your hands. Exhaling, bending your knees and hop forward. Inhaling, reach the heart forward. Exhaling, drawing into a full forward bend. On the next in-breath, come up. And grab your right wrist again. Stretching it over to the left. Legs strong, hug the muscles to the bones. Exhale back to center, other side. Exhaling back to center and gently releasing the arms. 
Take a moment to feel the body, be aware of your heart rate. And enjoy this workout to get you back into shape for the summer that's on its way. Namaste.